All right, bro. Uh, I looked at your pictures, going through everything. I'll try to be brief. I don't feel too good right now, but uh, I'm, I'm always down for helping somebody. Looking at your pictures, this is easier than we think. Uh, disregard my layout here. I'm doing the best I can to um, make this palatable for you. So this would be considered your main trunk. I'm assuming you can... Um, differentiate between your supply and your return there's no dampering involved with returns blah 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 a typical supply run i know this is only a four inch it's all i have available will come out of the top the side or the bottom of the ductwork that part is irrelevant now you'll usually have an elbow on top of a collar a takeoff i don't have a collar to show you but let's just assume you understand what i'm showing you here you have a four inch elbow that feeds a pipe it goes all the way out to your floor boot or your wall register, whatever you want to call it, all right? The idea is some of your runs are flowing too much air and some not enough, all right? So before we go any further, hopefully this looks like <laughs> kind of like some typical supply duct in your basement, all right? Now you cruise over to here and I just so happen to have manual dampers, all right? These are the most common sizes for supplies, four inch, five inch, six inch seven inch and even eight inch 90 percent of houses we do you don't really use anything bigger than a six inch i can already tell it looks like you have some seven and eight inch happening there all right so the perfect damper you want to try to buy is sold anywhere you might find them at home depot try to find a ferguson's or an hvac supply this is just called a basic manual damper notice this one doesn't have the double-sided stud that these ones do okay this isn't a big deal but the ones with the studs on both sides are made for what's called a long collar typically in an attic when you hook flexible air duct over it that has a hole on both sides of the duct to hold it basically on an access all right doesn't matter you can take a pair of tin snips if you can only get these kind you can cut this bottom piece off it's okay to have a little gap it's okay for a little air to bleed through but if you can find these ones these are going to be the ones you want that don't have anything on the bottom. If you look at how this damper works, it's just a wing nut that holds this handle down. It slides over. Look at the line that's that indicates the position of the damper. All right. So if you're 100% inside the pipe with the damper, this would make it 100% open. If you turn your handle perpendicular to the pipe, you can see how now it's 100% closed. Hopefully that makes sense. This is the bare basics. You don't want to add your damper closest to your supply outlet. You want it to be theoretically as close to the main trunk as possible. In a perfect world, at the time of installation, they should have put them in the elbow itself, assuming you can get your hand up there. The next best place is to put it four inches in on the straight part of the pipe. If you can only get it eight inches, it is what it is. But ideally, all right? Now, what you want to do is, you want to have a drill bit set up. I use a vary bit. You can use, I don't know, a quarter inch bit or something should fit these dampers, these studs. Once you identify what size pipe runs you have, which rooms are the ones that are hot, too hot, and which rooms are cold, you, you, you got to get all the material first. You can see how this damper comes apart, okay? wing nut washer some of them are spring loaded some aren't okay what you're going to do is once you in a perfect world once you drill your hole in the biggest part of the knuckle known as the gore center you would attempt to typically this is prior to an installed piece you would slide this inside the elbow pop that little sucker into the hole put your washer lever and your wing nut on and now you have a damper that turns with it all right now yours is a little different because it's a retrofit so let's assume that it's not worth taking all of this apart that's already on the duct bolted if you can undo the screws that hold the elbow be careful this stuff is razor sharp it'll bite you it'll bleed you quick maybe lower it down and do this or you can cut a hole in the bottom of the duct work you know let's say an eight by eight hole all right to give your arm access to reach through here to stick the damper in the elbow. Then you take your drill and you drill a hole right through here, hopefully at the six o'clock position, okay? And you slide your damper through the duck, reach it in and there and you try to, I know it sucks, but I do it every day. You try to pop this through the hole 
and then you put your wing nut on and now you have a damper that opens and closes okay so the the biggest thing is figuring out not every supply needs a damper you're not going to put a damper in a four inch run in the bathroom you're never going to steal air from a bathroom or a kitchen let's say so the idea is to find the in the winter time find the rooms that are egregiously hot all right those are the runs you want to put a damper in because you're, what you're trying to do is slow the air down to the rooms that are hot and redirect it to the rooms that are cold that's your balancing you don't make drastic um, adjustments at a time you know once you get these dampers in you label them and then you come out you know one day like this is a hundred percent closed 100% open with the pipe you would want to do small increments and give it time to heat cycle a couple days at a time see how it feels come back maybe close down the rooms a little more uh, again I don't know if this is really gonna help you I could very easily I, I can't believe you can't find a local HVAC company won't come and install dampers you could take apart the supply run I see that they're tape they're not like mastic sealed or energy star sealed in with tar or anything like that so problem is once they come apart they start to fall apart these knuckles break but the ones that are on top of the duct you want to go through the bottom you just cut a square hole and then have sheet metal laying around that you can patch it very you know common sense and you try to get slide the damper in up through it you know this is a uh, video is not to scale uh, these are the dampers you'll commonly use and again you're not adding dampers to the rooms that are cold in the winter <laughs> Those are the rooms that need more air. Your goal is to identify the rooms that are hot, identify the supplies that feed the rooms that are hot, trace them back to the ductwork, and your goal is to try to add the correct size damper in the right size pipe, probably looking at those pictures, sixes and sevens, and uh, your goal is to basically redirect the air going to the hot rooms into the rooms that are colder. You know, It takes a little bit of time, but you can balance this. Assuming the equipment is healthy and is running good, you can very easily balance this yourself. Um, I noticed some of your runs use elbows off of collars. One of them has like a squared around fitting. That's called a clinch collar takeoff. That's a little trickier. The damper, you'd have to get that into the pipe where it becomes fully round. Um, that one, again, you might have to cut through the ductwork and try to reach your arm in there without getting sliced open. Pain in the ass, but if you work on cars, you, it ain't nothing out of your wheelhouse. Again, that's a clinch collar. That has a ton of little tabs that are like shark teeth that are bent over and holding that collar tight into the duct. You could take that apart with a flathead screwdriver by prying into it. I promise you, you'll be there all day and you'll be lucky to get it back in. Um, let me know if this video helps you or if you need more videos or something more precise but again your first thing is going to be you might need a buddy identify the rooms that are hot locate the supplies that feed the rooms that are hot in the winter trace them back to the ductwork that feeds it and you want to get these manual dampers as close to the main trunk as you can in a perfect world the way we do it this would land in the second or third knuckle or you could put it in the first four inches of straight part of pipe so this would land it would pivot now if you can only get these manual dampers any supply house home depot amazon google hvac manual damper see the, the ones on the bottom with these pins these are meant to go inside the collar itself that comes off the duct so it spins on an access um that ship might have might have sailed for you already likelihood of you getting two holes into the duct but i tell you if you use these kind of dampers for a retrofit, if you tighten this wing nut good, put a little Teflon tape on it so it doesn't rattle loose, it's not going to flutter in the wind. This thing will stay stiff as it as you open and close it. All right, and remember, you're going to use your lever to clock your adjustment. That right there would simulate 100% open, half open, half closed, 100% closed. Very easy stuff, man. I hope this really video really helps you. If you don't feel too good. And it's cold out and uh let me know man uh i'll help you through this it's not a big deal these these forms you know used to help people a lot people like me so hopefully this video reaches you sit tight i'll get it to you